If your edits still flop, your intros probably suck. And yes, I mean that. If you go to my account and watch my edits, you will see that I use for almost all of my edits an intro. Why you may ask? Because intros are the most important thing of an edit. It basically decides if your edit will go viral or not. But how to make actually good intros? Before I will show you step by step how I do my intros, I want you to know which scenes you should use as an intro. Honestly, it is pretty simple. It is a basic rule, I would say. Your intro either needs to be badass, emotional or funny. I know you need some examples, so here we go. For badass, I chose this John Royce edit here. Basically, he breaks his handcuffs in a cool way, which appears badass, if that makes sense. This could also be a footballer who did an insane of a goal, someone winning an award, or a fighting scene. I feel like you get the point. For emotional, I chose this Tony Stark Peter Parker edit. It is just an emotional moment, so I don't really know what else I should say about that. In general, sad moments or someone is getting emotional while achieving something always works great. The same for funny. I chose my recent edit, where RDJ is basically like a diva. I feel like you get the point. Also, always remember that the intro needs to match the audio, but I think you know that. Anyways, let's make an intro. Okay, so we will make this intro, which you will see on the screen. It is pretty simple and easy, so let's go. What we will do now is cut our clip so we can adjust the position of each scene. For this, press Ctrl Shift D, then press P on your keyboard and adjust your clips so they are centered in the middle. A lot of people forget the next step, to put frame blending and motion blur on. This will make your intro way way smoother. If you put it on though, most of the time there will be some glitches that you need to fix. Most of the glitches are either cause of camera flashes or scene changes. But there's an easy way to fix this. Just go to the specific frame, cut it with Ctrl Shift D and disable frame blending and you're good to go. By the way for the audio level, I can't really give you a value for that cause this really depends on each intro. But basically press L on your keyboard and play around with the value until your audio track is between minus 3 and 0 and then you're probably good to go. I changed mine to plus 18 by the way which is honestly really high. Anyway, let's make our text. Those are my text settings and here are also some fonts that I use in my edits. You can download them on dafont.com. So search for the T symbol in the top left and create a square. And just write what the person says. I usually write in all caps because I think it looks cooler. Once you've finished that, right click on the text, go to transform and center anchor point. Now press S on your keyboard and scale your text how you want it to be. Then mark it again, go to the align tab and click the second and the fifth button. So it's perfectly centered in the middle. Now mark your text and change the color how you want it to be. Now we will add some effects on the text. Search up fade up words in the effects bar and put it onto your first text. Press U on your keyboard and adjust the keyframe so it matches the character. So as you can see here, I adjust it so it matches what in that case Tony Stark says. Do this now with all of the other text layers. Now we will add a fade out slow effect, so put it onto your first text. Press U on your keyboard and adjust the keyframes. As you can see, my first text layer is very long, so I don't need to overlap it with another text layer, but for the second one, I did it. I don't know how I should explain the placement of my keyframes, basically just copy me. Alright, this looks pretty decent already, but to spice this up, we will add an expanding text. Make sure that you chose for each text layer the second paragraph. Mark your text, click on this little arrow, go to animate, click on this arrow and choose tracking. Keyframe tracking type and tracking amount. Go to the end of your text layer and change the value to 15. And do this now with all of the other text layers. Now search for deep glow. Make sure to enable unmold. Change the radius to 780 and change the exposure to 0 
Search for drop shadow and put it onto your text. Change opacity to 100, distance to 9 and softness to 2. The last effect is turbulent displays. Change the amount to 12 and size also to 12. Go to evolution options and click on this little arrow. Hold alt and click on random seat and type time star 6. Mark all of your effects, press shift for that by the way. Then press ctrl C so you copy it and paste it with ctrl V. Go to layer now and create an adjustment layer. Put it under the text and put your coloring on the adjustment layer. Now mark your clips with your adjustment layer and pre-compose them. Press S on your keyboard and change the value to 101 to get rid of those sharpened lines. Search for S underscore flicker and change the amplitude to 0.07 and then search for S underscore shake for the panning. Change the amplitude to 0.06 and the frequency to 2. Now mark your clip, press T and keyframe opacity. Move it a few frames to the right, go to the beginning and change the value to 0. So we have a fade in and now you're done. Nice. If you like this video and you want to see more editing content, make sure to subscribe, but just if you want to. Anyway, bye bye.